the previous generations who have come to North America, they really established the Masajid, right, the actual buildings. Um, and now it's up to us to fill them. Uh, it's up to us to fill those Masajid with uh, youth, with women, with children, with uh, young and old and people from every demographic. Um, and I think that Al Huda, mashallah, is doing an amazing job at that. It is absolutely and unequivocally necessary to have these kinds of events for the youth. Um, there are so many ahadith which talk about, uh, you know, a time's going to come uh, when Islam will become something strange again and so give glad tidings to the stranger, this idea that there's a time it's going to come in a place where it's going to be difficult to practice your Islam. Um, the hadith which says there's going to come a time when الصابر فيهم على دينه كالقابض على الجمر like the burning coal of ember, right? Someone who's trying to hold on to his religion, it's going to be like holding on to this burning coal, this burning piece of ember. Everything is pulling them away from the halal. Everything is pulling them away from remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from acknowledging you know, their purpose. And to be able to uh, put them in an environment where they're having fun, where they want to be there. Like nobody forced these kids to come, right? Like they wanted to be there, mashallah. Um, they were here, they were meeting great brothers, they were spending good time in a masjid uh, with reminders, with prayer, with sports, reminding them that you can be an American Muslim. You can be a Muslim first and an American as well. You don't have to give up your identity um, to embrace your Islam. Rather, you need to embrace your Islam in order to form a truer and more pure and more pur purposeful identity. It's one thing to have the infrastructure uh, that allows for you know, activities, but I've been to many communities uh, you know, in the past you know, 15 years that have gyms, uh, but they're empty and they're locked and no one can access them, right? So it's amazing not only to just have the infrastructure, but to have that behavior that goes with it. So it's not just an inclusive environment, but it's an, it's an inclusive attitude towards uh, using that environment in a way that helps the communities. It's just so great that there's a place that is as beautiful as this and that is beautiful um, externally and internally as well.